Ladies and gentlemen, on March the 18th, 1944, the then Minister for Education, Art and Science, Gerrit Bolkestein, made an appeal on Radio Orange. He asked the Dutch people to hand over their wartime letters, diaries and speeches to an institute to be established after the war. The goal was to record Dutch experiences of World War II for generations to come. The instigator of this appeal was the historian Lou de Jong, who would make the scientific documentation of the war his life's work. To this end, he established what we know today as NIOT. I believe both de Jong and Bolkestein would have been enormously proud to see NIOT become the headquarters of the European Holocaust Research Infrastructure in 2025. And definitely, it makes me proud. EHRI digitally connects sources from all over the world to improve access to the records of the Holocaust and thereby encourage international research. The importance of such research is underlined by, for example, the work of Katja Happe. As a former EHRI fellow, she investigated why, in relative terms, more Jews were deported from the Netherlands than from any other country in Europe. Building on previous research by Presser and de Jong, she unearthed new information about such factors as the position of the Dutch government in exile. Because its primary objective was to defeat of the enemy, it wasn't until the final stages of the war that the exiled government in London took active steps to help Jews go into hiding. The role of international Jewish aid organizations, which made several unsuccessful attempts to protect Dutch Jews and refugees was similarly unknown until now. And that's what science is capable of, bringing the full picture of the unimaginable into sharper focus, little by little. There will come a time that surviving witnesses can no longer speak for themselves. When that happens, will have only silent witnesses to rely on. The records and sources that EHRI is helping to uncover. With the establishment of this headquarters, EHRI is set to become a permanent organization. And with a war on the continent, with anti-Semitism on the rise, and our collective knowledge of the Holocaust diminishing, it is more urgent than ever to do so. Commemorating, passing on stories, and doing research to the truth about the Holocaust keep the memory of this dark episode alive and create an emphasis to the value of peace and democracy in Europe. And therefore it is vital that we, as governments, support organizations like EHRI financially. As the responsible State Secretary at the Ministry of Health, Welfare and Sport, I give this my full commitment.